Hello guys, what's up? Lego Landon here, back with my first video. And today I'm going to review, be reviewing my long hair trailer and like what I have on it, like the setup of it. So let's look at the truck first. I'm not going to do a, a video. I'm not going to do this. I'm just going to show you it. It's a truck that me and my friend built last summer. And I'm going to make a whole other video on it. It's a dually. It's got the guy in it. I didn't set it in there. Or not a dually, a uh, diesel. I didn't set the guy in there in the seat. I just threw him in there because I use him for the lawn care. I might have to redo this body because it's kind of bent. You might go over see a little bit. Let's see if you can see. Bent. So now I'm going to show you the trailer. If you hear noise, it's my sister being my sister. She's being annoying. So first, um, I have a prop for my trailer. I don't know where it is. I must have left it in, um, in the room. Yeah, I'll, I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. So I got the stand. It's one of these pieces. I don't know what they're called. It's like a, a one by f or a two by four plate on the bottom with like a built in put up thingy, like a thing. Uh, I don't know what all it is. I think it's about like the this part. I think it's about two like of these plates with a smooth tile on top. And then it's got a little technic pen. And what I do is you can see here, how there's the holes in my trailer right there in the hitch. I put it like, hold on, I'm trying to readjust my tripod. Sorry, I um, I put it like this and then it just, uh, stays in the hitch. So, Fix this for you guys so you can have a good angle. It's my lamp over there, you guys. This all okay. So, this is a trailer. Uh, I don't know how many studs long it is. Let's see. You got one, four, you got one, two, three, four. Wait a minute. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so you got seven, four by. I want to say, let's see, six and so you got seven four by ten plates. Except on the back, I used one or two uh, four by sixes and one or two, obviously, put them together. And then I used one or two uh, four by fours and I put them together because I ran out of the plates. I think it's just one set. There's just, yeah, there's just one set of them. I think I, yeah, okay. So that's that. So whatever. Let's see. We got seven plates and they're four long each. So it's twenty-seven studs long. So let's start first at the front. So right here on the side we have a, actually we'll start up right here. So we have a tool rack. We got a shovel. This is a regular shovel. I just like squeezed it in to make it look like a a curved shovel. And then we got a pickaxe and what an axe. Right here and then we don't have railing. It's just rails. I don't know where I got. Them. We have a little, like, a uh, gas tank. It's, it's supposed to stay up, but it keeps falling down. You gotta tighten the bend. And then you just go like that, and it pours your gas in whatever you need. Ah, oh, my neck's like hurting. So there's that, and then... It's got a... This is different on the front. It's... Focus. It's just a rail. It's like a classic fence. This is a... Elastic hair tie which I use as a strap a strap I'm doing it with the strap for to hold my cord on the front right here. It's not a Lego cord, it's, it's a white cord but had it. And then let's go to this side. You can see the trash can right here. You got the weed eater string or the weed whacker some people call it. I call it a weed eater. I think that's actually the correct name for it. You got the weed whacker string holder. It doesn't have line on it or string on it. Because I have it, uh, let's see if we can zoom in on it. So I am right there, right here. And then you got the cones. This is, let me zoom back out. This is onto the weed whacker and leaf blower rack, or weed eater and leaf blower rack. Got weed whacker stuck in my head. 
So this is the leaf blower. I, think I, could, I took, um, I don't have, a, my leg is in here. But I took some snot bricks. It stands for studs, not on top. It's like the bricks with, um, what you call it in it. Um, it's got like, they've got studs like on the side or all on, on the, all the sides or it's like a plate. I, I don't have any on this, but you guys can look them up. You'll find them. So this is the leaf floor. Um, this guy right here on this mower. You'll see the little, uh, sorry. See the piece he's got on his, on his back right there? That's the, um, what you might call it? This goes on it. It's like the tank of the leaf part, and then he just holds this like this in his hand, and he blows. Or he does the leaf blowing with it. And then, this is a echo trimmer. Still, still, still echo, whatever. I like my echo, because that's what I have. Um, it's got, it can, the head can adjust. It can go, oh. This is just a piece that I put on. The head can adjust. You can do it like that. Uh, you can. You can turn it sideways like that, but I don't know why you would want to. Just keep it straight. And then you can, you can hold it. And give it sound effects if you're making a video with it, or you can just do them with your mouth if you want to for fun. But yeah, there's that. And by the way, these cones are not Legos. They're some plastic cones I had from something. Um, I just have two of them. That's all I could find. I have, I know I have a bunch more, but all I could find was two. And then I just put that on there. It looks kind of close touching. Like it touches close. I never noticed that. I don't think it was ever that bad. Like they touch kind of close. I don't think it was ever that bad. And then you can, this is, this one you can scoot up and down. This one you can just adjust if you want it at an angle. This one you can scoot like up and down. This is already kind of a long view. So it's a dual axle. Yeah, dual means two. Okay, so the other side doesn't have anything but the torque. So to the ramps, put them down. Um, this is my own brand of mowers I made. I don't think this is a real brand. Airborne Mowers. And then their motto is only the best mowers for the best performance. And I have, I'm trying to think of another one because I only had one airborne sticker from a Lego plane. I'm trying to think of, of another sticker for, um, the other one. That one was rough. Okay, so I watched a tutorial. If I can find the tutorial video... Like where I got it from. I'm gonna raise you guys a little higher while I'm talking. If I can, I should be able to find the video again. It shouldn't be that hard. But once I find it, I'll put it in the I'll put it in the description. I'll look while I'm editing, and I'll put it in the description for you guys. Zoom in here. I just might need to go a little higher. Okay, there you go. Now you can see good. Okay. So the mower is coming off the trailer. I'm gonna take this one off and move it. I'm gonna take the other one off and then I'll talk about them. So there's that guy right here. I'm gonna put you guys higher again so you can see. Pull him off. Okay, I'm gonna put you guys lower so you can see the performance of how they go off the trailer. If that makes sense. Look right there. It's catching on my desk. So this is what it looks like when they roll off the trailer. Okay, you guys can see it bottoms out a little bit right. It's not focusing. Stupid autofocus. Shouldn't use autofocus. Oh my gosh, let me zoom in. Thank you. It's like won't let me zoom in. There you go. You can see right here. Sorry, it's blurry. Stupid autofocus. There you go. It like bottoms out just a little bit when it comes off. Not too much. And then this bottoms out, obviously. And then it, it just rolls on off the trailer. Okay, and then let's turn this back around and zoom it way out so you guys don't think I'm crazy. Okay. 
Okay, so, and then you can take the push mower. And for this one, you can push it out of, you can just walk down any ramp. I need to put ramps in the middle. I watched, so for the push mowers, I watched the tutorial. This I just saw in a video and I copied it. I paused it where the video part of it was. It, it's, it's, it's pretty to scale for a minifigure considering the zero turns are to scale as well. Okay, that's my, let me put my truck in my desk over here on the way, okay. Sure you guys are zoomed in. Okay, so let's set this here. Let's set these over here out of the way. Oh, what did I break? I don't know. I thought I broke something. Let's set these over here out of the way professionally. Like I would professionally. Oh, okay. Now I'm gonna take you guys on a little adventure. Hold my tripod up. And give you guys a cool shot. Okay, so let me put you back on the stand and kind of like give you a weird angle. Okay, so you guys are looking at it from the top. Okay, so right here, it's a trash bin, just a normal trash bin from Lego. I put some little flower petals in it, and then there's two little, I don't know if you can see them like that. There's two water bottles, those are fake Legos, OEO Sports. And this cooler I got from a like, fishing boat when I was really young. Let me zoom this. I'm sorry if you guys keep seeing my hand. I'm trying to do this all by myself. I usually have a camera in my hand. But at least I have my tripod set up. Okay. Oh, I forgot. I didn't, um, I forgot I no longer have. I forgot I no longer have um, drinks and stuff in there. Okay, hold on. Let me pull you guys back out and let me zoom you back out a lot. Okay. I forgot I don't have like food and stuff in there anymore. I just remembered. I put um, tools in there. Okay, so let me move the garbage bin put it back up here like it was. Put this over, put that there. Okay, so that's the drawer. Um, so this how to get a drive bunch of plates. Talked enough about that. Back it up over here. Okay. Hopefully, I don't hit it too hard and it falls off. Okay. You guys see a blank surface? Good. I'm gonna hurry this up. Okay, so we'll start the push motor. Um, so I was just watching a, a Lego mowing video. It's Michael Haycock films. And I saw the lawnmower that he was using to like a lawnmower fell or something. And I copied it. I'm gonna do a tutorial on how to build this in a different video, but I'm gonna leave the tutorial link to the zero turns in the description. Because I don't wanna, it's gonna take too long to build those because I gotta find all the pieces and then build them. So, there's the little push mower. Here's the zero turn. This was, okay, I'll start. This is the first zero turn I built. This one is different than the other one. I'm gonna compare here. Um, so for this one, you'll see I have studs here. Like you were actually supposed to use, but for this one, cause I didn't have any, I didn't have barely any pieces sorted because I had pieces sorted pieces I needed it seemed like they weren't sorted so I spent two days and I sorted all, all my 95 I want to say percent of my pieces I just have a little tub left and then whatever miscellaneous parts are just thrown everywhere on the floor or whatever so this one is the first obviously I had there were supposed to be more pieces under here but I I had to take apart builds for them because, like I said, the pieces weren't sorted yet, so I couldn't find them. But I had to take apart builds for them, and I said, no, you don't even need them anyway. So, I don't understand why this bar is so thick right here. It's so thick. I mean, there's like. It would be better if it was just a. Let's see if I can pop this. These things are hard to pop apart. 
be better if it was maybe just a smooth tile. Uh, yeah, it looks a little bit better. I'm gonna keep it like that, actually. I'm gonna make my other one like that, too. So, like I said, obviously, I wasn't, I didn't have very many colors for this one, so it was kind of mismatch. mismatch. It was a John Deere one, I guess, for a button, because it had green and yellow. And I just have some normal minifigures on there. Okay, and then here's the second one. It's like all black with a hand poker, right? It's just a normal minifigure, it's the same thing. Except I put a little, if you look at this one, this didn't have the bar here and this one did. I put this here because I didn't have another one of these. Little like, here, let me show you if I can pop it off real quick. I didn't have another one of these pieces to put on this mower, but I put it on this one first because it looks good. And I just have one of these on my first mower. I just have one of these hinges. So yeah, obviously I like the all black one. And it, like I said, I made it my own brand, Airborne Mowers. Only the best mowers for the best performance. And either that or only the best for the best or only the best mowers for the, it was, I can't remember, it's only the best mowers for the best users or something like that. I can't remember. But if I get older, I might think about making the, my own brand. I'm not saying anyone would steal it from me, but if anyone does steal it, I guess I'll be fine because I do have another one that I'm not going to say. I don't, that, that one's definitely not a brand unless it's like from China or something, but it's definitely not a brand. I for sure verified that on research. It come up with like corrections, like, do you mean this mower or this mower? No, I mean the one I searched. So, this is already 16 minutes. But I'll leave timestamps. I'll try to leave timestamps in the description if you don't wanna sit here and watch, the whole, watch through the whole video. I'll leave timestamps in the description where you can look and see when I'm talking about the mowers and the trailer and whatever. But yeah, this is my setup. Uh, I'm gonna do a tutorial on how to build the push mower. I'm gonna do a tutorial. I have a smaller trailer. It's like maybe, it'd probably fit a zero turn on it. And I think it might fit a, I think it might about be it. And maybe get this in the front. But I put this sideways into like, like the core is right here. I put it like that up next, like that's the core right here. My hand is the core. I put it right there up next in front of the core. So yeah, that's it for this video. Um, uh, make sure to subscribe, like the video, share it with all your friends. And this is my brand new channel. So I saw the other one. If, you're, if you just found this one, you don't know about my other channel. It's London's Fishing Adventures. I'll have a link to it in the description, so go sub to it. And, uh, yeah. I'll catch you in the next video. So, peace.